Hey everybody, it's Crystal, and I'm signing in to do my week 19 pregnancy vlog update. I am officially 20 weeks pregnant today. Today's Wednesday, so my week tur turned over, and I'm 20 weeks today, so officially, I know people are a, lot, a lot of people are like, oh, you're halfway there, and I'm like, no, girl, I was halfway there like two weeks ago, <laughs> in my mind, because I know, I just, not that I'm saying I can't make it at 40 weeks, but I'm just, I know this, I've said this before in other videos, I'm not like putting expectations on myself that I might not meet where I'm like, oh, I can't believe I didn't make it that far. So I'm just like thinking, you know, 36, 37 weeks, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> I'll be happy to make it that far with twins. So yeah, officially, I'm yes, I'm halfway there. I'm, it's exciting. Very, very exciting. It's scary at the same time. I'm starting to feel lots of things. Um, this particular week, week 19, was very emotional for me. I would say that the end of week, the part of week 18 leading into this week um, has been pretty up and down for me emotionally. I have felt sad, I have felt depressed, I have felt lonely, I have felt misunderstood, I have felt so many things that I just, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I know that it's pregnancy, I know that it's hormones, so it's not like I'm, you know, I am worried about myself and that I'm getting depressed or anything like that. I just really think that sometimes when you get um, a large amount of hormones in your body and other things are happening in life, you just, you get overwhelmed and it's, it can be, pregnancy is overwhelming. It's fantastic and it is overwhelming at the same time. Um, and I feel like maybe I haven't been able to express that to out loud. Um, I don't have a lot of outlets for people in real life anymore. I mean, I do, but I don't. They're not as readily available to me as they once were. Um, and so I'm finding it difficult to express myself whenever I am feeling emotional. I just feel like I'm holding it all in and I'm not talking about it to people. Um, because everyone just assumes that when you get pregnant, everything's great, everything's perfect. And it is for the most part, but when you have those days where you feel so lonely and depressed and sad for no reason, you know, that's, it's, it's hard to deal with. It's hard because, you know, I can talk to Josh about it and tell him how I'm feeling and, but it's not the same as like, you know, sitting around and talking about it for an hour with someone, you know, getting it all out. Um, I also think this past week, last week, I really felt a lot, um, on the, on the third of this month, September 3rd, it was seven months since my grandmother has been gone. And for those of you who don't know, um, who haven't followed my vlog for a long time, my grandmother raised me. She was pretty much like my mom. She got me when I was two years old, raised me, <laughs> it raised me. She was the only mother that I knew basically. And so she passed away back in February, like, oh, you know, like the day, exactly a day before our first IUI consult appointment to get our IUI started. So, um, I really think that this past week, she has been on my mind so much. Um, you know, you just have those weeks where, or those days where you miss people. And I think that I used to talk to her about so much stuff and, um, I just really think that this week <laughs> she was just on my mind a lot and I really felt like, and I'm sorry I'm getting emotional, this is the emotions that I'm dealing with. Um, I just really felt like everything that I was feeling this, this particular week, I could have gone to her and like told her and she would have just been like, you know, it's okay, <laughs> you're pregnant. Um, you know, you're going to feel like this, honey, that kind of thing. And it's just, uh, it's such a reality that she's not here. And so, um, so that like intensified <laughs> everything that I was feeling this week, I think, because I just felt lonely and I felt like I needed that female, um, outlet and I didn't have it. And my mom, my my real mom, who I know and I see, um, I haven't actually seen her since our baby gender reveal, or maybe I did see her that week after, but it's been like a couple weeks since I saw her, even really talked to her. So it makes me feel like I don't have a mother influence in my life. And so this, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a mother <laughs> and 
I just, it's so weird not having her here because it makes me sad. <laughs> And that's not like the only reason I was sad this week. I'm just saying I, I felt, I have been feeling so emotional. I mean, I just feel like I'm crying at everything now. I'm feeling so caught up in everything. And I know that it's pregnancy and it's hormones and I'm my body's changing and everything is changing so rapidly <laughs> that um, I'm just feeling a lot and so I'm the kind of person who I have to express my emotions I that's why I originally ever first started vlogging um, was because I felt so much inside that and I used to be a blogger before that I mean I blogged my little heart out for years <laughs> before I ever started a, a YouTube vlog and um, so I have to get my emotions out and when I don't have an outlet they build up like this and I get emotional and I cry and ugh, I hate it I hate being emotional my husband is like can totally turn off his emotions and not deal I mean he deals with everything I'm not saying he, he just blocks things out but he has a way of dealing with th life when emotions are involved and I wish I had his power sometimes to do that and not let my emotions get the best of me so I'm sorry for crying uh, but I feel better but I do I do miss my grandma so much I really I miss her um, so moving on to my from my, my emotional meltdown fest issues that I've been having last week and this past week <laughs> um, uh, symptoms that I've been feeling for the pregnancy uh, because of the pregnancy is um, soreness. I'm starting to feel sore in my hip bones and my lower belly and my feet. I notice that when I'm at work and my um, my staff when I send them off for lunch and I cover the desk area and I stand up there on my feet just for for 30 minutes I mean they start hurting I mean it's not like excruciating but it's enough where I'm like holy shit I need some better shoes so and I think it's just the weight that I'm you know gaining in my in my belly area not that I'm like gaining an extensive amount of weight but I'm just I'm you know I'm getting bigger <laughs> I'm getting bigger and my body is feeling all of that excuse me I ate a banana right before doing this so I feel a little bit burpy and I hate doing that but um so I, yeah, I've definitely been feeling sore, um, just, um, just soreness, you know, tenderness, soreness, um, bending over is becoming a task. Um, Josh told me the other day when I was getting ready for work that he might eventually have to help me put my socks on. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's just, you know, if I, if I do things like off to the side of my body, it's better. But if I'm bending over, I'm like grunting or making noises and I'm like, oh, even like to pull my leg up on my, to set my leg up on my knee over here. It's, it's becoming a task. I can only imagine how much worse it's going to get. But I mean, I'm excited about it because I wanted this. I wanted pregnancy. Um, and it's as emotional as it is. It's amazing. And I'm so grateful to just be going through this. Um, so yeah, bending over is becoming a task. Um, even like I feed my cat outside and she's an outside cat during the summer. She does not want to come inside, but in the winter time she will. She'll come in every night and stay and then wake me up at like five o'clock in the morning to go outside. But I, I leave her food right by the front door and I have a little can that I put outside. So I always fill it up. So now whenever I have to bend down to get that, it's even, it's like, Ooh, I feel like an old woman bending over. Um, I am rubbing cocoa butter on my entire like basically from my chest all the way down to like almost my knees back and front every single day. I try to do it every morning and every night. Sometimes I miss like the um, the nighttime or no, the morning time depending on my schedule, but I, I put it on every single night before I go to bed. Um, so, so far I'm doing okay. I don't have any sort of stretch marks or anything like that. I know that they're probably going to come eventually. I am going to get massive, so I know they're going to come, but I want to hold them off as long as possible. Um, let's see. Okay, so I talked about my baby blues. That's what I called it. I even looked it up online because I was like, what's wrong with me? Why am I feeling so depressed and emotional? And it's normal. Like, you go through these phases, and, you know, it can't be all glitter and rainbows all the time. Um, so, and also, a part of the emotions thing that I've been dealing with and feeling, but I'm starting to get used to, is um, 
just my body changes overall like how my body is changing so quickly I feel like now every every day I feel a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and that's okay because that's you know it's again I'm growing life inside of me I'm growing two babies two baby boys inside of my belly are growing right now so there is a reason for everything to happen so quickly but your emotions you you know some days you feel great about it and then other days you're like oh my god you know you just it's so up and down um it's so up and down it's so weird to, it's hard to explain i mean obviously when you go through it you understand it a little bit more um let's see um sorry i wrote my notes down feeling something sometimes i don't know what i wrote hmm Oh, I said feeling lonely. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling great. Overall, as far as the emotions go, like I said, I'm leveling out this week and I feel like I have a little bit more control over how I feel. Um, but there's, there, <clears throat> emotions are still there. And they're going to be for the rest of the pregnancy. I just know it. So other than that, I feel really, really great. Um, one question that I've been getting a lot from people is, am I feeling movement? And yes. I am feeling subtle movements right now. I'm not feeling any sort of like big kicks or um, anything like that yet. It still feels very much like flutters or to me, which I explained to someone else and they were like, oh, don't, don't say it like that. But it feels like I have little bugs inside of me. On You know, whenever I feel them move, it just feels like something is moving on my skin like that. And to me, it feels like a little bug or something, like a spider or something. Ooh. So I am feeling that. I'm feeling it a lot more, and I'm feeling it every single day now. Um, but again, it's not any sort of like big anything. And I sometimes I, you know, I still feel I have this, um, a few contractions here and there. It's usually if I'm really, if I really have to go pee, um, and then when I wake up in the mornings, and sometimes at night. So it's nothing, nothing crazy. But I think also sometimes part of my ab, my belly area gets really hard on one side, and I'm thinking that might be one of them like rolling over. But I'm not sure. I really, I mean, I'm not sure. I won't know until they get bigger and bigger. So um, I am feeling movement. Um, I am excited and anxious to feel the big movement because I want Josh to feel it. Um, I just want him to feel that what I feel. You know, I, I know it's different the way I feel it and that he feels it, but. You know, just so that he'll have that experience to know, to really feel them there. I'm, I'm anxious for that. So I think that's pretty much it for my vlog. Sorry, I was so emotional in the beginning. I just, ugh, it's been a, it's been it's been a week. <laughs> um, but I, you know, it's been a week. Um, I will be posting my name reveal right after this. And then I also just wanted to say, so other people have asked like when my next appointment is and all of that good stuff. So my next appointment with a perinatologist is going to be, and that's my specialist high risk doctor because I'm carrying multiples. That is gonna be on September the 20th. And I'm really excited about that appointment. I think Josh won't be able to come because he's in school on that day. And it's the morning, is it Tuesday? Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to come um, because it's, it's a Tuesday, I believe, no. No, it's a Friday morning. Oh wait, maybe he will. I don't know. Last time we were there, we were like there for hours waiting. So I made it really early. So we'll see. But my appointment is on the twentieth, so I'm gonna get to see uh, the babies again and just check on them and see how they're doing. Um, they're also going. I have to ask them to do a um, cervix checks check, a cervix check, where they um, just measure my cervix to make sure that it is the right length and it hasn't shortened or anything like that. And then I have my midwife centering class on the 24th, which I'm really excited about that too. Um, so that's it. That's it for my vlog. Sorry again to be so emotional. I know a lot of people are going to be like, don't be sorry. But I just feel like I have to say it. I'm not a huge crier, but I do cry occasionally. And when I do, it's like, ugh, I don't have a super, yeah. I hate to cry because I, I, am, I don't have a pretty cry face. No one has a pretty cry face, I'm sure. But some people's cry face is way prettier than others. And mine is not pretty and I know that <laughs> so I'm just like I don't like to cry on camera but um, thank you all so much for watching and um, I'm gonna upload my new reveal video right after this and like I said it's nothing fancy so don't expect fireworks or fanciness it's not fancy it's just a name reveal have a great day bye okay and here is my 19 week belly shot technically 20 but we'll say 19 <laughs>
So here we go. This is from the front. Mirror, oh, see, I'm just getting so round. And this is from the side. And this is from the other side. So yeah, it's there. It's only gonna get bigger. <laughs> Bye.